Trigger warning. There are only two genders. Jesus Christ, all right, Wendy, calm down a little bit. My God. Also, quickly before we start today's video, we actually got our first ever sponsor on this channel. Today's video is actually sponsored by Opinion Outpost. If you guys just want to make some uh, some extra money, let's be honest, who doesn't? Money good. Then go over and click the first link down in the description and it will take you to a website called Opinion Outpost, which allows you to make some extra money while taking part in some of these surveys. Honestly, it's a great website. I have tried it myself. It's super easy. Maybe while watching this video in the background, you want to make some extra money? Then go click on that first link and head on over to Opinion Outpost. Anyway, I would like to present you with this. Hi, everyone. Um... Why am I still in a giggly mood today? Um, I'm going to be doing the gender tag. That is why I'm making this video. Um, okay. <laughs> I guess I'm laughing because, because like, I, I feel like I'm a part of the community now. <laughs> why am I so giggly? <laughs> why am I so happy? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, first of all, before I tell you exactly what we're going to be looking at today's video, please can you stop sending me this? It is the most creepiest thing I've ever seen. And quite frankly, I have no idea why she's laughing either. Would I like to stay and would I like to know? Not really. So if you could please stop sending me this video on Instagram and Twitter, that would be muchly appreciated. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so creepy though. Why is she so shiny as well? Bruh. Oh, like, just so many questions. And unfortunately, we don't have enough time. In today's video, boys and girls, we're going to be looking at this amazing channel called Kid Queer Stuff. Yes, because that's exactly what kids, young, young kids need to learn about while growing up. About queer stuff. Not maths, English. Pfft. What are you, stupid? Science? No queer stuff. Now, thankfully, this channel doesn't have many subscribers, but unthankfully, this is also one of the people that are trying to sue YouTube, so, um, I guess I'm gonna be sued soon. Anyway, let's have a look at one of these amazing videos that I wanted to show you today. I have a lot to say. That's why I'm laughing, because I'm like, I'm like, how can you just give me 10 questions and have less than 10 minutes to describe and answer every question? Um... Yeah, not this one. It's LGBTQ plus Pride Month, Teddy. Yay! <coughs> cool. Epic. Today, we're going to learn about something called drag. Uh-oh. Stinky. You ready, Teddy? Ready. Okay. So, Teddy, I've got a question for you. Okay, Lindsay. Do you ever play dress up with your friends? All the time. Now, I hate to do this to Teddy. But I think he's a f***ing liar. I don't think he has any friends. Because if he did, he especially would not be here right now. <laughs> Making this video. I'm not angry, Teddy. I'm just disappointed. Great. Drag is kind of like dress up. But it's a very specific kind of dress up. And adults can do it too. Okay, just judging quickly where this is going. I'm pretty certain it's only adults that do this. I mean, you be a bit odd if like you know a four-year-old was to do drag I mean, the only time i've ever seen that is probably bad grandpa <laughs> well the circumstances were a little bit different in that film <laughs> adults can do it too i'm teaching her at this point dress up is my favorite Lindsay. i'm a big fan too teddy i'm gonna bring in some help on this one hi Lindsay. hi teddy hey hi thanks so much for helping me out today teddy this is my friend jeff hi jeff can I ask you two questions before we start? What are your pronouns and how do you identify? <laughs> right, okay. You know what? The only time I've actually ever seen someone actually ask someone this. Hello. Before I... <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. Before I speak to you, what are your pronouns? The only time I've heard this is when a teddy bear has <laughs> said it to someone. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is that so funny? I <laughs> a, f a teddy. I identify as male and I use he, his pronouns. Jeff, I was just about to tell Teddy all about what drag is. Think you can give us a definition? Sure. 
Drag is when you dress up as a gender that's not your own. And it's usually really exaggerated. Exagger... what? Exaggerated. That means it's over the- Okay, whoa, 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 wait one second. Out of all the words they've used in this, like, in the beginning of this sort of, like, episode, the word Teddy doesn't understand is the word exaggerated. Okay, last time I checked, the title of this video wasn't English kid stuff, it was queer kid stuff. Why are we teaching kids English? Th this whole series is flawed. How is that the only word Teddy doesn't understand in this whole episode? It's not even like he even questioned the word drag. Didn't even as much batter an eyelid, but exaggerated. Oof, oof, oof. Hold up a second. <laughs> Exagger what? Top or not realistic. People usually use a ton of makeup and wear really awesome costumes when they're in drag. Okay, I get it. So, some drag you might see are boys dressing up as girls and girls dressing up as boys. These are called drag queens and drag kings. You can't tell right now, but I'm actually a drag queen. What? <laughs> um, well, uh, you say you can't tell, but I mean, just... The hair kind of gives it away. Also, you're in a video titled uh, Drag Queen Queer Stuff. Uh, it kind of gives it away just a little bit. Also, there's literally cubes at the front of the video saying drag. That's not what the cubes are meant for. God damn it, Lindsay. They're meant for happy words like happy and fun. Drag. All right. Yeah, give me one second and I'll introduce you to Mr. What the hell? All right, I'm not making fun, but why is there like it's just the fact that there's like so much black around the eyes and then the eyes are like white I've never seen a girl dress up like that and yes I know you use the word exaggerated but like come on you're gonna scare the poor teddy bear this is literally like a monster from insidious this is scary this is meant for children <laughs> my god hi teddy hi Lindsay <laughs> Yeah, Teddy. Um, Lindsay told me you're a drag queen. I am. <laughs> well, yeah, no shit, Teddy. God, let's just say the obvious. What an idiot. What an idiot. <laughs> I mean, like, let's be honest, not only that, they've literally been talking about it for like the last four minutes, telling him that he's a drag queen. My boy Teddy then turns around. Hey, mister, so, uh, I hear you're, uh, I hear you're a drag queen. I am. <laughs> That's literally like one of your friends introducing you to one of their friends saying, this is Lindsay, a gym instructor. And then you talk about it for 10 minutes. Then you turn around and say, so Lindsay, I, I hear you're a gym instructor. I am. Dum dum. Should I ask my questions again, even though I already asked Jeff? Yeah, you might actually get different answers from Mr. than you did from Jeff. Oh, okay. Mr. What are your pronouns, and how do you identify? You have to stay here with us forever, forever. Mister, I have a couple other questions for you. Sure. Why do you have a beard? Oh my god, Teddy. Who taught you these manners? That's extremely racist. Rude, Teddy. Can we all just take a minute as well to uh, um, <laughs> admire the... Uh, the frame on which I chose to pause this on. <sighs> also because I want to get this video to 10 minutes, but it, I mean, just happened to be a quite a funny frame. No, you know what? I want to hear why. Why does Mr. have a beard? When I do drag, I love to push the boundaries of gender. And also, doesn't it look great? It definitely does. All right then, basically because he wants to. I'm just jealous. I want a beard like that. 10,000 likes, guys, and my beard has promised me it will come out. <laughs> That's how genetics work, isn't it? What does a drag queen do? Drag queens are the hosts of the queer community. We make sure everyone's having a good time. Whether that's performing lip sync numbers, singing live, or just doing some dance shows. That's actually kind of like us, Teddy. We host queer kid stuff. Yeah, just like us. No, 
my nothing like you guys. Completely opposite. That's like a Call of Duty channel talking to someone from the army and being like, you know what? That's kind of like my YouTube channel. I kill bad people. <laughs> Ugh, nothing like you. But fair enough. Look, this guy ain't exactly hurting anyone. And uh, if he wants to do this kind of stuff, fair enough. I don't have a problem with it. In fact, I'm pretty sure most people won't. The only thing I do find a bit weird is how they're trying to push this onto kids. Yes, I know this video suddenly got a bit more serious. I do find it just a little bit disturbing how this is supposed to be marketed for kids and pushing onto kids when I really believe, like, why do they need to learn this? Maybe, maybe queer teenagers. Why can't kids just be kids? Why can't they just enjoy their childhood? Play some football, play in a puddle. Why they gotta learn about this stuff? That's my only issue. And that's pretty much it for today's video. I don't want anyone here to go over to the channel and send them any hate. That's not what I'm trying to like do on this video. It's just going over one of their videos and making a little bit of light on it. But anyway, boys and girls, if you did enjoy today's video, if you could please hit that like button as it's always really appreciated and it helps me out a lot. Also, like I said at the beginning about Cameo, you can come over there and you can book me. If you don't know what Cameo is, it's basically an app where you can tell me to do or say something and you pay a pretty low price and then I send you over that video of me doing exactly what you wanted, saying something maybe for a birthday message to someone or maybe you want to break up with your girlfriend and you want me to tell her. <laughs> don't, don't send me that. I'd probably still accept it. I don't condone this, but come over and check it out nonetheless. Anyway, boys and girls, I hope you did enjoy today's video and I'll see you all in the next one.